I just imagine having hours of, of conversation and discussion and, and uh, uh, that, that's so romantic to me. I, I, Einstein I, I, had that with Maleva, his wife. Who's Maleva? Maleva was Einstein, was Einstein's first wife. In fact, he, got her, he knocked her up out of wedlock. Um, and they had, you know, some people think that um, Maleva helped him come up with rel special relativity and maybe didn't um, get all the credit she deserved. He also had, wow. a, had a, like a, a, a coffee group, you know, a bunch of guys he'd hang out with in, in coffee shops or wherever, they, you know, wherever you hung out in Vienna or wherever the hell he was. Um, so, I mean, Einstein was, he talked through a lot of his stuff. Including with his, you know, sexy physics wife, but they got divorced, and then he married his cousin, who was more of a housefrau. His cousin? His, I, th I think his second cousin. Okay. Could have been his. I don't know, but like, she was more of of of, of a traditional housewife, and she kind of was happy to to work for you know to be married to the great man and kind of. Uh, I I would like that too. When are you gonna? When am I gonna meet a woman that's happy to be with the great man? I've, I've never heard of such a thing. Is that is that just something from the 1930s, or do all women have to compete with you and be better than you at everything, or try to be? Wait, women competing? Wait, wait, wait. What are, I, I don't understand. What that. I'm saying is, there used to be women that were happy to be to live in the shadows of of their husbands. I don't see that anymore. Well, I, well, it depends. The the fields of of recognition have, have changed. Where. You know, that's that's more for media stars. Okay. So we have to get famous. I I uh, I I've never been that interested in getting famous, but if it's going to lead to marriage to a beautiful intellectual woman, then it's it's uh, God, it's to be worth it. Well, let's let's talk about women. I didn't want to talk about women. We were supposed to have a, a, a female... The subject is too depressing. Well, it's a female... I don't want people to see me crying on camera. Well, let's see how we do. We were supposed to have a female guest yeller at her, representing the liberal side. Um, since I'm not supposed to do too much talking or yelling because you're painting my face. But our talent didn't show up. I wonder why. I don't know. We even bought her spaghetti. But she should have come for the spaghetti alone. You'd you'd think that would be enough these days. Well, let's plug uh, the joint because they have good spaghetti. Bambinos on Carson in uh, Harbor City. Best damn Italian food. It's, it's incredible. Run by uh, uh, an Iranian immigrant named Sean. I love the guy. His goal was to go into the ghetto and do gourmet food. And as a result, it's the most popular restaurant in the ghetto. Please come. Okay, there you go. So one guy from you know, the, 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 the scary Mediterranean, the, <laughs> you, you are okay with entering America. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, that's the thing. We, 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 we have to bar the door after Sean got in here and started a, a great pizza restaurant. <laughs> Right. He'll he'll I'll 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 stick up for him when they when they come for them. I'll say, wait a minute, you got to keep this guy. He's 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 one of the ones we have to keep. Okay, go ahead. All right. So women are underrepresented in lots of areas, but um, maybe particularly in your area, which is art. For instance, you know I can only name one female impressionist, Mary Cassatt. Um, and it's, it's kind of like that throughout history, that you know, they're the, all the no, almost all the known uh, great artists until you hit you know, the 19th, 20th century are, are male. And even from the, you know, the beginning of the 20th century to now, it's still overwhelmingly, um, males are overwhelmingly more recognized. Are we talking about the visual arts, just what I do? Yeah, let's talk visual arts. You know, we're, it's, it's, they, on NPR they had an exercise, which is name any five female visual artists. And it's tough. You go, you go Judy Chicago, Mary Cassatt, um, Diane Arbus, it, and, you know, it, um, Cindy Sherman. 
Um, well, two of those are, are photographers. But, um, um, the, I mean, look, there's no mystery to this. Uh, women weren't allowed into the arts particularly. Um, there were occasional situations where the daughter of a famous artist continued to uh, carry on the family tradition. Uh, but in general, women were not encouraged to be painters and sculptors. And that's the reason there weren't that many of them in art history. It's not, uh, there's virtually no mystery about that at all. Um, all right, so we don't have to have an argument. Because we don't. That, there's because nothing to argue about. Because you, you didn't I say, can, well, because women are sucky. Or the, no, that's no. silly. Okay. All right, so we agree. That, then, but there is a, a potential disagreement, but I don't know if we want to talk about it, um, about what can be considered art. Like painting and sculpture are, you know, they're the... Okay, cut.